Hello and welcome to Console Training. My name is Alex Hughes and welcome to today's video on using the agenda function in GrandMA2. Let's jump straight in. So today we're looking at the agenda function, which is a way of essentially calling cues and actions at certain times as per a calendar. It's really great for a lighting installation or something similar to that. So the procedure is really simple. We take a cue list that we've got here. We can see that I've got just a little two cue list show. I've essentially got a show state and then I'm going to call it a house light state, which is everything in blues. And we just need to create essentially our agenda. So in an empty section, we go to other, we click on agenda and we have an agenda and it starts showing us sort of a calendar. If we click on the day, today is uh, June 17th, Saturday we can quickly add actions. So at a certain time, I'm going to say at 1.55, so that would be 13 hours, 55 minutes, we want an action to happen. We're going to make it 56 minutes because I don't think I'm going to have enough time. And the command will literally just be executor or exec 1.1 1 .1 at 100. We then make sure that it's running up here, otherwise they won't run, and we can then also add in other actions. So I want at 13 hours and 57 minutes, let's also stick a fade time on that, a fade two, just so we get a nice fade time on that. We've still got two minutes. Putting myself under pressure now. Uh, exec. 1.1, oh no, sorry, we want go to q2 exec 1.1. And we can also check that these actions work by clicking the test button and we see that it runs. That's pretty much it. That's as simple as it is. So we can also do macros because we're dealing with essentially a command section in the same way that we deal with a sequence. We can Speak in whatever you want. So you can have a macro that selects all your fixtures and then puts them into a certain uh, preset, such as a lamp off preset and lamps on your fixtures, which is a really handy one. And you could run that 15 minutes before show. Other than absolute timings, if we add another one in for a sec, we can also do dawn, sunrise, sunset and dusk. And these are dependent on your location. So if I resize this for a sec and we look at clock, We've got a bunch of different options. We can see when sunrise is. So it's saying it's nine hours and 44 minutes after sunrise. We can see when sunset is. So it's six hours before sunset. So this is a really good one that if you've got a GPS thing attached, you could, uh, you could have your show automatically run. How are we doing for time? We're up to 13.56 and our queue hasn't run. Interesting. No, oh, there we go, 1356. We can see that our first queue is firing, and now if we wait another minute, we should see the other one firing. So let's just go back to a digital clock so we can look. We'll set it to 24 hour time, and we'll see that roughly in, you know, 40 seconds, our second queue will run. Our third queue won't run, but that's okay, because uh, we haven't put anything in. We can also do repeats, so we can say that we want it to repeat daily, we want it to be weekly of each month. We can say when the first one is, so if you're setting up a show and you don't want it to run for a week or so, you can do it like that. Agenda is a really powerful and simple function that uh, can make your job a lot easier uh, if you're doing not so much time-coded stuff, but installation stuff where you don't have an operator. Uh, because as I said, it can run macros that lamp on things, lamp off things, do whatever you need to do. As long as the console is running, it'll run. And you can also add in things. There we go. There's Q2. You can also add in things such as startup macros. So when the desk starts up, it'll run a macro and lamp things on. So hypothetically, say the power goes out. Uh, when the desk is turned back on and the rig is turned back on, it'll automatically run that startup macro for you. Anyway, that's the agenda function. This is the last of the really short little programming tidbits. Uh, our next video will be a bit more in depth in programming, but we've just been giving some little, you know, little console training tricks and functions that should get you out of there because we realized that 
Especially personally, I look up a lot of videos and I need the answer really quickly. I want it to be fast. I don't want it 30 minutes in. I want to look up a five minute video and go, ah yes, this is exactly what I need. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying our videos, please donate to our Patreon. We've been uploading a fantastic amount of content, rather sporadically. It's normally done in uh, bursts when I've got some time. But you'll get access to videos like this weeks early. Uh, and also a bunch of other stuff, such as live streams and uh, other content, including our podcast. Anyway, thank you for watching.